Hamilton in the house. Praise God. God bless you. Take a moment, give somebody some love. Come on, give it up. Bless somebody you don't know. Come on, greet a visitor. Greet somebody. <laughs> I'm so glad to see you. Bless you. Praise God. That's right. Get around and bless somebody real good. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Key now, I'm 15. And I will put enmity, if I say enmity, between thee and the woman, and between thy seed and her seed. If I translate, it says, I will set a feud between you and the woman. Can I translate again? There will be war between you and the woman. Mm -hmm. It shall bruise thy head and thou shalt bruise his heel. Her posterity, that's what it's saying, shall tread your head underfoot. Her seed, her offspring will tread, glory to God, cause you. Unto the woman he said, I will greatly multiply thy sorrow and thy conception. In sorrow thou shalt bring forth children, thy desire shall be to thy husband, he shall rule over thee. The Lord bless his word. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I've been dealing for years with this scripture. I share with you, many of you already know, I always say, Lord, why you had to put that between us? I mean, it's literally something that if you really think about it, women don't have seeds, do they? Oh, wow, I got to do sex education too? All right. And no, she don't have no seed, but it was likened unto her. And when you look at such an intense prophetic word to the woman, the only way you're going to understand it, you got to see past the enmity. You're going to have to see past the fact that he said, I'm going to put this thing between you, woman, and the devil himself. Now, if you really think about that, we're supposed to be all delicate and feminine. Why we got to be messing with the devil? But as I say, you got to see beyond that. What has God placed in the womb man that he has such confidence to pit her against the devil? Light shows up in darkness. Get your little gift and go on out there and meet the devil and tell him I'm coming after your enmity. You want to hate me? Well, I know how to hate you with a perfect hatred. David said, I hate my enemy with a perfect hatred. You need to understand that there is a law of perfection in hatred when you can hate the things that God hates. Good Lord, God will show you. And then you can connect. Oh, let me wrap it up in Jesus' name. Glory to God. God brought about marriage. And for those of you that are married, you need to ask God for the revelation of who you're with. Because God's about to reveal some mighty mysteries in this generation. And I tell you, a lot of you singles, you need to be single for a while. It's okay. Let me tell you something. You better start agreeing with God. The Bible says, how can two walk together except they agree? You better start agreeing for your life because you ain't going nowhere until you do. If you want to walk with the Lord, you need to agree with him where you are. He's got you in a season. He's going to teach you some things that you did not know before. So you don't wind up doing the same things over and over again. Because it's by nature that we will go after the very same thing. Because you don't get, I'm sorry, you don't attract what you want. You attract what you are. And until you deal with what you are, you're going to keep attracting what you don't want. And if you don't want it, you're going to have to change who you are. Oh, I know that's rough, but you want to hear the truth now, don't you? Don't you want to know the truth? Don't you want to get rid of all these crazy folk every time you turn around? Somebody crazier than the first one show up? <laughs> Hallelujah, I'm tired. <laughs> I mean, no, it's better to be, I'm, I'm glad to be by myself. This is a season, thank God for the season. 
Oh, come on. Some of us ain't. We choose to be alone, okay? Because we know where we came from, all right? We, I will wait on the Lord, okay? I mean, wait for real. I ain't waiting with my fingers on. I mean, waiting. I'm serving. I'm doing something. I'm working. I'm busy in ministry. I'm going to be like Ruth. I'm going to be gleaning. I'm going to keep on doing what I got to do till I get what I'm supposed to have. You got to feel, but you ain't time to work in it because you think it's coming to you. Harvest don't come to you. You got to get out. Anybody who work in the field, no harvest time is the most working time. You make like seed is a big deal. Plant your seed. The Lord said he giveth seed to the so he given you see why you make a big deal out of your seed because you think it's yours it wasn't yours God gave it to you you're supposed to plant it and when you plant it you mess around and you get a harvest now when folk get harvest they sit back think the harvest gonna come to them excuse me you got to get up and do something by faith Praise, praise the Lord, everybody. Girls to women, praise the Lord. Girls to women in the house. God bless you. We haven't seen some of you since last Girls to Women. So you may as well take a moment and bless somebody real good. Greet a visitor, greet somebody you don't know. Make someone feel welcome. Amen. All right, y'all better start pleading the blood early. <laughs> start pleading the blood early because we about to tear down. That's all it is. The enemy is shaking. We about to rattle the devil's cage and he know it. I mean, he know, he know you coming. He know you coming. He know you coming. That's why. Oh, God. Ain't going to do it. How many know ain't going to do it no good? Go ahead and stir it up and do whatever it is you want to do. Hallelujah. Because it ain't going to do no good. It ain't going to do no good. My God, you got this much power in one place? No wonder. I mean, no, we don't need no mic, you know. Thank you for the mic. Thank you. Hallelujah to God. Hallelujah. God came to rip up some roots, some rooted spirits. Glory to God. Rooted spirits. Yeah, we're going to deal with that forbidden fruit in Jesus' name. Hallelujah to God. Thank God for our man of God, a musician, Shreef. Praise God and Minister Candy. Because she said, I know that I've been set free. Hallelujah. I know that I've been delivered from my past. I ain't got to prove myself to you. I don't have to keep trying to defending myself, trying to make you think that I'm okay or that I'm saved. Uh, Lord, help the church uh, with their self-judging, sanctified attitudes and arrogance and acting like they know who's saved and who's not. Uh, the blood of Jesus help you. Uh, you didn't help them when they were down and in their midnight hour. Therefore, you will never qualify to decide where they get to go. Uh, if you weren't the one that brought them through, uh, you're not the one to judge them out. Oh, God. Uh, you need to understand that your purpose is greater than any problem in your life right now. Come on, stand on your feet. We got to move. <laughs>